Australia. Can you get the Silver Surfer in there? Geez, I love that tie. Can you tell us the story about the tie? <laughs> Can I tell you the story behind the tie? Can I tell you the story behind the tie? I collect weird ties, and uh, I saw this one. I saw Silver 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 Surfer, the uh, the Herald of the Galactica, and I said, I gotta have that tie. I don't think I have an actual uh, normal tie, which is actually kind of weird. And uh, every once in a while, I have to go to a uh, wedding or a funeral, and I go. Ooh, what can I wear to, uh, you know, say a, a funeral that doesn't look kind of wacky? So, you've uh, worn that tie to a funeral? Uh, no, I haven't worn this tie. No, I, I did not wear that tie to a funeral. I do have a black tie that I do wear to funerals, and uh, I do have a, a conservative, a semi-conservative tie I wear to, uh, uh, say, job interviews. Okay, Greg's doing a comedy routine, and yeah. uh, <laughs> what we were really here for uh, is to talk about Durham uh, Film Production and yeah. Entertainment Association. Yeah. Uh, you're the, uh, I guess, the first president. First of it. president. And if you can, uh, I guess, introduce yourself and sure. talk about your new venture. Now I'm going to ask you the classic question I always uh, that I ask when I'm on that side. Uh, wh where do we look? The camera or you? I uh, look at me. I look, look at, at you. I look yeah. at you. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I'm the first uh, president of the uh, the Durham uh, Film, Television, and Entertainment Association, and uh, this is kind of a thing that kind of evolved out of just a lot of people saying, you know, there's a lot of talent here in Durham, and why aren't we promoting this? And um, I mean, you look at Toronto, there's a lot of talent there, but Toronto, everybody knows Toronto internationally. And I think poor Durham kind of gets left off the map. I mean, people even hear about Mississauga and places like that, but Durham has its own culture, it's got its own people. Um, we could, just to sort of pat ourselves on the back, we could exist without Toronto, uh, but there's a lot of talent out here. We felt that we've got to start networking, and we, that's how it, it all started. Now, what kind of, uh, what's the criteria for members that you're looking for, Greg? Uh, Basically, you have to be someone who's very seriously involved in either television, uh, film, music, and also other things such as webcasting and those things, because it's the whole convergence thing. I mean, where do you say film starts and movie and uh, and television starts? Where does webcasting that start? That really what seems if... to be a big word now, convergence. Yeah. 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 It, it'll be as passe as the uh, inter in information highway. Uh, give that about another, uh, you know, two months, and it'll be passe also. Can you see, uh, well, again, I, from my experience of the Internet, I, I, you know, the, the, the quality isn't there, but I, I basically see Internet, TV, radio, same thing. Eh? It, it's all going to become one, yeah. absolutely. But the beauty about the Internet, unlike, say, uh, say, radio, radio was restricted strictly to audio. You couldn't do anything more with it. Um, television, you basically was restricted to uh, pictures and audio. Whereas the internet, you can now integrate graphics, 3D graphics, interactive things, um, movies, sound clips. It, what the internet allows you to do is take all of those things. So the only thing it won't allow you to do is, is uh, tactile things. Ah, I take that back. There, in fact, are even tactile interfaces for the internet where uh, you can have things that you can put your hand on and somebody at the other end could uh, actually manipulate something. So you can even have that tactile experience if you want. Now, uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about your own experience and what draws you in as being, uh, I, I guess, to meeting the criteria of uh, a Durham Film uh, Production and Entertainment. I consider myself the, the uh, kind of a Swiss Army knife. One of the ways of surviving in this business is to diversify so that if somebody comes to you and says, oh, we need something done that's musical, oh, I've done that. Oh, we need something that's uh, weather-related. Oh, I can do that. Uh, gee, I need something that's um, science. So. By diversifying and being able to do just about everything, uh, whether it be the the, uh, the the taping, whether it be the the voicing, whether it be the on air, whether it's the editing, by being able to do everything, you also have appreciation for all those uh, attributes. So that when somebody does say, "Oh, uh, can you do this?" I still have the appreciation. If I'm shooting something, I have the appreciation of someone who's going to have to edit it. Or if I'm on air, I can appreciate the cameraman or the camera operator uh, what they have to do to make me look good on air so uh, by being in, in all, all, all aspects of it yeah now any advice for like you know some, some younger people who want to get in the industry because uh, it's really not as tough as you would think uh, but maybe you can talk a little bit about that uh, what, what, what advice would you give well I'd say yeah, it's the three A's attitude attitude and attitude if you've got an attitude that you want to make it see it sounds like a, a Frank Sinatra song <laughs> but if you want to make it that's the first thing uh, if you're not hungry, it isn't going to happen. Uh, a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm going to be a star and I'll, it'll just be that way. I listen to a lot of autobiographies and any one of those people that have struggled and struggled and struggled, it's funny how there's all these uh, people that have worked uh, 10, 20 years to become overnight successes. 
Uh, that's how long some of these people have, have worked. So you've got to want it. So the number one word is perseverance? Perseverance, absolutely. You, I can guarantee you're going to get kicked in the teeth probably ten times before you get there. Now, the problem is there's a lot of success stories where people have gone, oh, I like that person. How'd they get the job? Oh, they were in a bar once and a producer saw them and poof, they were a star. It happens. It happens all the time. But um, if, if you personally want to make it, perseverance. And perseverance and diversify. Be able to do a lot of things.